Many high school students dream of attending college and winning scholarships to help get them there. But for one student at Eureka High School, she is making that dream a reality. Meet Bien Ho. She's a computer science and programming whiz. I really like programming because I like the creativity involved in it and how you can program almost anything you want as long as you have the imagination. And I also like artificial intelligence because I took a Stanford online course about artificial intelligence and machine learning and that really like showed me data analysis and how you can manipulate data. That, mixed with her ambition and determination, has been the recipe to rake in more than $60,000 in scholarships to kickstart her higher education. My teachers and counselors have been really supportive. Without them, I probably wouldn't have even known these scholarships existed, so it was really thanks to their help. She honestly drives most of her own learning. She is exceptional, and um, she'll come with to me with ideas and scholarships and things that she wants to do, and I can help her figure it out. She's received a Dell scholarship for $20,000 and most recently a $40,000 Amazon Future Engineer scholarship. To secure these scholarships, Bien needed to explain why she was interested in technology, her relative accomplishments, and personal challenges. Computer science may sound really daunting or challenging, but it's a really important skill, even if you're not exactly interested in it, since technology is really advancing these years, so it's important to know a lot about computer science. Computer science became one of Bien's primary interests her freshman year in the EHS Exploring Computer Science class. At first, I didn't even know what computer science was, but after taking HTML and learning to create websites, um, that really got me into coding and how it's like it's a mixture of creativity and also um, writing scripts. Just as Bien's interest for computer science grew, COVID hit and students were sent to distance learning. But that didn't hinder Bien, but propelled her. Because of COVID, a lot of programs that used to be in person, like summer programs sponsored by Girls Who Code, they then offered virtual sessions. And so that opened a door for Bien to participate. Since that door opened, Bien has had a long list of accomplishments and participated in a multitude of programs. Girls Who Code, Biotech in Action, the Berkeley Science Accelerating Girls Engagement in STEM, the Humboldt County Office of Education Technology Exploration Summer Institute, and a Stanford Pre-Collegiate Summer Institute Artificial Intelligence course, just to name a few. Plus, she is the founder and president of the Skills USA Cyber Club at Eureka High. I always really liked team working and collaborations with our students. Uh, they really became interested in Python programming after joining my club. So I was really happy to be able to help people find um, new interests. She is a CyberStart national finalist, a QuestBridge College Prep Scholar, won an Aspirations in Computing Award, and most recently led the EHS Cyber Club to third place in the NorCal Cyber Mayor's Cup. Whether it's participating in a summer program or leading the, the cyber club here at Eureka High, she brings kindness and joy and intellectual curiosity to what is going on and, and that inspires people around her. But the road hasn't been an easy one for Bien, moving back and forth from the States to her home country, China, from three years of age until permanently settling in Eureka in fifth grade. So I was kind of behind in English and also a little bit in Chinese. So that was like a kind of difficult time. Now Bien is not only fluent in Chinese Mandarin and English, but also German, recently being recognized with a California State Seal of Biliteracy. She brings a lot of grit and resilience. She has to work hard to, to achieve all the things that she's done. But, you know, she, she doesn't give up. Bien has not only proven to be an inspiration to her peers, but set a precedent to what young women right here in Humboldt can achieve in the field of STEM. 
Since Bien participated in Girls Who Code, there have been five other young women who signed up for that summer program and got in. You know, they bring that joy into their own classes and that's how it spreads. And that's how we can create a culture um, here at Eureka High in Humboldt County that says young women can be successful in STEM and those dreams are possible and you know that opportunity is there for them to reach out and grab it. Bien sets a great example for students because she has accomplished all of these things and so what she does is she shows students here at Eureka High and around our community that it is so possible. If you want it, there are supportive staff and counselors at your schools who can help you achieve it. After high school, she plans to attend the University of Southern California. She looks forward to participating in school clubs, conducting research on technology, and creating programs to solve real life problems. I would like to thank Ms. Cruz and Ms. Hauskamp and Ms. Sauer for finding out a bunch of programs and uh, scholarships that I can apply to. I'd also like to thank Mr. Stiano for helping me with my college essay, Ms. Voss and Mr. Keene for writing recommendations. They have always um, helped me a lot throughout the years. Congratulations to Eureka High School senior, Bien Ho.